A man convicted in a double murder from almost four years ago finally gets his sentence and he'll be behind bars for quite a long time. Yeah, first at four, our 19 News reporter Stephen Hernandez was in the courtroom today. Coverage you will find on just one station. I have no remorse for you here today. Two consecutive life sentences without parole. County Judge Kevin J. Kelly throwing the book at Jermaine Kemp in the midst of heartache. Family members of the victims coming forward to send a final message before the killer goes to prison for a long time. I promised myself it would not cry today. But the pain is too hard to bear. Last week, a jury found Kemp guilty of murdering Joseph Watson and Crystal Mahler in July of 2019 on the corner of West 47th Street and Henrits Avenue. That day will forever play in my life. A third person was shot but survived. Others who couldn't make it in person shared their thoughts on video, such as Joseph Watson Jr., the son of Watson, who recounted how he couldn't have a final conversation with his own father. He was always a man and boy, but it was never a man to man conversation. I never had a man to man conversation that I always wanted with him. But after the sentencing, an interesting moment, Kemp exchanging a few words with his family. Take a listen. The family left soon after and did not make themselves available for an interview. The final moments before Kemp starts the rest of his life behind bars. In downtown Cleveland, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News.